Hello all, the GATE 2023 results have been declared and with that we have also got now the ranks, the marks of All India Rank 1 of this GATE 2023 examination. Yes guys, All India Rank 1, the dream of many, many, many aspirants. Maybe for next year when you're targeting GATE 24, GATE 25, you might be eyeing single digit rank or ranks like 1. Right, in this short video I should presenting you that what is the marks obtained by All India Rank 1 of GATE 2023 but not only 2023, let's slightly compare with last year also so that you know, you just have a target, keep planning for a rank 1, planning for single digit rank where you have to land up, right? Is it always high or is it low also? Depends, definitely it depends guys, it depends on the level of the paper, it depends on you know, uh, if every year, uh, you know, some maybe MTS and all those things coming that also fluctuates the mark. Okay, so let's have a look into the data for both the uh, years that is 2023 as well as 2022. So if I have a look into this all India rank one marks gate 2023. So let us come to electronics. Now we all know last year electronics was a good paper. So the toppers mark was restricted to 78 out of one. 100 but if i talk about this particular year this year paper is relatively easier as compared to last year okay so the topper marks going to 90 and not only easy paper there are you know other factors also in ec branch key why exactly ir1 marks going so high but yeah the paper was easy this is a very dominant factor and gate score definitely 1000 guys now when the branches like ec mechanical civil electrical computer science where the aspirants are huge okay generally so the gate score because the gate score formula also takes the number of depends on the number of aspirants so it is high for these branches that is 1000 but when you come to, uh, talk about the branches like IN, XZPI, EA with the ES where the number of aspirants are very few okay and for that reason the gate scores even for all India rank 1 this does not touching the 1000 it is somewhere 950, 940 etc. Okay, now when I come to electrical branch as we saw this year okay relative to past 5, 7, 8 years this year we saw relatively tougher paper okay and not only uh, tougher paper we also saw some questions which are not directly related to syllabus students challenge that also but that was not accepted like questions coming from numerical methods question coming from microcontroller and recently we have interacted with several toppers also electrical and even they have not solved it by chance some people have solved by chance they have studied for some reason otherwise many students have not solved but i did not consider no problem okay so for the difficulty level as well as some out of syllabus components the topper mark itself is restricted to 66 and and gate 2022 it is 92.67 because last year it was a very simple Ladu type of paper for electrical engineering coming to computer science this year we saw a relatively very easy paper that is why cutoff also went high the topper is at 93.67 whereas last year it was 81 now coming to civil this year again a better paper for civil as compared to last year last year the topper nearly touched 97.36 that's very very close to you know uh, 1000 maybe just one or two small mistakes uh, you know made it stop for 100 very close to 100 I mean okay this year it is 83.11 the normalized mark of the topper mechanical more or less same 90.67 this year 90.05 the last year instrumentation branch this year the common subjects like you know signals digital control they were easy but you know the core areas of instrumentation were little better this year so topper restricted to 78.33 last year it was 88.33 exe branch 83.67 this year last year it was 94 PI 87.33 last year it was as high as 95 and ES finally 64.33 this year last year again it was high 77. So guys now uh, what, what is the message that you are able to get and why I have brought these two years data. See guys now when you talk about topper marks as I told you definitely depends on the level of the paper but for most of the situations you have to just take into account that whatever may be the level mostly for going into the topper zone even if it is a moderate level paper you have to go into the first rank or even the top single digit rank your eye should be more than 80 marks if it is a very easy paper by chance then definitely topper marks are beyond 90 okay for Un uncertain situations unlikely situations it may be below 70 as well i'm telling you, it depends on situation but generally if you are planning all india rank one or single digit rank in gate 24 gate 25 your aim should be 80 plus and that is why you know i brought this data so that you also are aware exactly what is happening with the toppers mark but also at the same time you are aware about your targets key where you have to eye so guys or no, at least 80 plus or easy paper 90 plus now we are able to also see that the you know the paper variation is also good that means guys 
guys when you're preparing many students only rely on pyq no pyqs are very essential okay while preparation but you cannot only rely on pyq on the other hand some students only rely on simple simple problem like one marker level or basic two marker level no when you are preparing your preparation at least you solve the questions from standard books or it you are if you have workbook solve the questions from workbook what i want to say is your preparation should comprise of the questions of the easier level 100 percent but it has to go and solve all variety of questions of difficult level as well because there will be few questions in gate okay they will definitely difficult even if it is an easy paper few questions will be difficult and if it is a good paper so you will find some definitely good number of good questions so your preparation has to be according to it so have a mix of good questions also don't only rely on easier questions or previous year question okay so guys if you have uh, you know like this video and if you have got more detail whatever next year do not forget to like and if you want more such content if you're enjoying the content do not forget to subscribe to the byju's exam prep youtube channel this is rakesh talreja signing off thank you